Oracle Cloud Consolidation in GL In this video I will talk about how to do consolidation in general ledger cloud Welcome to my channel Let's start first the meaning or the definition of consolidation Consolidation is required to combine or consolidate accounting and financial results of multiple companies from multiple ledger, currencies, calendar, accounting flex field structures, or our four C's. Consolidation is a period in the process of combining the financial results of separate subsidiaries with the parent organization to from single combined statement of financial results. In case of you have a lot of ledgers with a different currencies, calendar, accounting flex field structure, whatever, and you need to make consolidation. Consolidate the accounting of all of them in one as a corporate ledger. Either they share the same chart of account or in different chart of account, the same calendar or different calendar. By the end, you need a one parent ledger as a combined of all of the financial data of all of these ledgers. This is the consolidation. Consolidation is year in the process when companies prepare their balance sheets. There are three types or methods of consolidation. First of all, reporting only consolidation balance transfer consolidations and financial management consolidation for the financial management consolidation it's like as you see now it's complex financial co consolidation and reporting multiple ERB in instance multiple or general ledger in instance and you need to make a consolidate between the ledgers in all of these in instances either by Oracle Hiber Hiberian Financial Management Fusion like Oracle HFM for Fusion because what? because if it's complex it's not only one instance it's multiple in instance and you need to make a consolidate between all of these in instances first method is reporting only consolidation method as you see here subsidiaries or ledgers sharing the same chart of account and the calendar yes you have to go to reporting only consolidation so this is the condition that your subsidiaries sharing the same two of our four C's COA as a chart of account and calendar this method is used you know, when all subsidiaries and the corporate ledger share the same calendar. One of the subsidiaries has a local chart of account and the local currency. This subsidiary uses a secondary ledger to record balances in a corporate chart of account and corporate currency. One subsidiary has a local currency and uses reporting currency functionality to record the balance in the corporate currency. In this method, which task you have to follow? You have to group all of these ledger or subsidiaries in a ledger set. If the ledgers share the same chart of account and the calendar, you have to make a group or a ledger set and include all of these subsidiaries in this ledger set. Then you can translate balances to the corporate currency for ledger, not in the corporate currency. For example, I have one corporate ledger as a main or as a parent ledger and I will make transfer all of the financial data of all other subsidiaries to this parent ledger. If one of these subsidiaries, if the currency of one of these subsidiaries is different than the currency of corporate or main or parent ledger, so you have to translate balances to that to the ledger or of the corporate to the currency of the corporate ledger and 
what is the next step you have to create eliminating entries if you have any intercompany blah 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 like this in these subsidiaries then you can make a report using ledger set and the corporate currency as a reporting parameters to view the consolidated balances in this case there is no need to transfer because of what because all of them share the same chart of account calendar and in the same in instance this is like a reporting you just need to group all of them in ledger set and if there are any different in the currency you can make a translate else just go to create eliminate entries if you have any eliminate entries then you can by reporting you can run your report to get or view the consolidated balances and i think it's it's, it's very easy because there is no any big or risk for set up the solution what is the benefit that no need to run additional process to consolidate unless ledgers have a different currency than the consolidation yes if only the different the in currency you have to run translate balance else there is no need to run any additional processes view consolidation balances anytime this cannot be done in balance transfer consolidation method because what because that method require balance transfer in the other type or the second method of consolidation as a transfer balance you have to run balance transfer every time to achieve consolidation but here no need to run anything you just need to view consolidated balances anytime faster close process there is no chart of account mapping there is no transfer uh, balances there is nothing second method is balance transfer consolidation as you see here what is the condition multiple subsidiaries having different chart of accounts and calendar yes you have to select or using balance transfer consolidations in this video i will give you example of how to make a balance transfer consolidations so what is an or in which case i need to go to balance transfer this case in which case i need to go to using reporting consolidation method our previous case that all of this all of the our subsidiaries or ledgers share the same chart of account and the calendar here different the chart of account is different calendar is different so in this case you have to follow or to implement the balance transfer consolidation again the main concept of of these two methods is that we still on the same instance it's not in a different instances as i told you before if you your subsidiaries in a different instance you have to go to this financial management consolidation because it's very complex to make a consolidate between all of these subsidiaries which is in different instances for balance transfer again in case where multiple subsidiaries and the corporate ledger don't share same chart of account and the calendar we can take help of balance transfer consolidation method subsidiaries use local chart of accounts and the currencies corporate maybe use corporate chart of account and the currency subsidiaries use balance transfer to convert the local balances to the corporate again if we have a lot of ledgers by the end we have only one corporate ledger or one cor uh, main uh, ledger or one consolidate ledger we need to transfer the balances from all of these subsidiaries to our corporate chart of account or our corporate ledger you need to do the follow steps that you have to translate also balances to the corporate currency review and submit accounting and configuration this is for any ledger or whatever you have to review and submit accounting configuration you have to create a chart of account email because of the chart of account is different so maybe i have in one ledger five segment another ledger seven segments 
third ledger 10 segments so you have by the end you have to make a mapping between the chart of account of all subsidiaries to mapping with the chart of account of corporate ledger I will see you all of these steps later transfer after you create and, trans and uh, translate and review and submit accounting you starting to transfer the balances of all of the subsidiaries ledger to the corporate consolidation ledger create eliminating entries also in the corporate consolidation ledger generate a report on the consolidation balances what is the uh, like uh, pros and cons that this is what is the positives what is the negatives of the con uh, bank balance transfer consolidations first of thing you don't need require a standard chart of account and the calendar in journal or sub ledger level reporting currency ledger translated balances are available from either reporting only or balance transfer consolidations reporting level reporting currency ledgers need to have the translation process run when it has a different currency than the corp consolidation currency or corporate ledger currency what is the cons or like uh, negatives of balance transfers like weakness require an additional consolidation ledger to maintain balances or the current parent ledger can serve as a consolidation ledger by using parent ledger transfer all of the subsidiaries ledger's balances directly into that ledger need to run every time balance translation process if the currency is different from the consolidation currency or corporate ledger currency then run the transfer process to view the consolidation or consolidated balances maintain a chart of account mapping which can be a labor intensive because every time you adding one values in the segments you and uh, you already make a mapping of these segments you have to go there in the mapping and again add this mapping of these new values of this new account whatever outdated balances transfer has have to be reversed and posted and then a new balance transfer is run every time the source ledger balance changes whatever every time you change it or reverse it whatever you have to reverse it whatever is boosted and again boost this reverse journal and again run rerun the process of transfer balances from the beginning required translation to be run again if ledger currency is different than consolidation currency so this is the overview of the balance transfer now we go to show you the practice how to do it I will talk about balance transfer because for the financial complex solution consolidation I don't have a lot of innocence and for the reporting it's very easy you have to just make a ledger set put all of your ledgers make uh, translate if you have any different currency else just run your report to check your balances so let's get into application this is the applications first of all I need to go to this is a brief what I did to save your time I have two ledgers one as a subsidiary one as a corporate this is subsidiary this is a corporate because we are going to make a balance transfer so we have two different chart of account as you see here this is chart of account of our corporate this is our chart of account of our subsidiary in case of you have a lot of sub subsidiaries the same way you have to follow you have to add the su subsidiary ledger 2 3 4 and the chart of account blah 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 
for our corporate chart of account or ledger we have company segment line of business account future for the subsidiary we have around six segments company line of business account cost center product and company future one or future two around eight so here because it's different chart of account so you have to make chart of account mapping so because of chart of account is different so you are going to make a make balance transfer consolidation because what because our chart of account is different what is the next step you have to make a mapping mapping between what between your chart of accounting segments because by the end you will transfer the balances from your subsidiary to the corporate subsidiary here around there are eight segments but in the corporate there are only four segments so how to mapping between these eight and these four because during the transfer the balances from the subsidiary to the corporate the system will check this mapping and the transfer smoothly the balances from subsidiary to corporate so i will get into application setup and maintenance there is one chart of account mapping manage chart of account mapping for financial reporting structure manage i already defined one as a name description blah 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 i i will show it first then i will create a new one to sh tell you what is it first of thing what is the name what's the description what is the target chart of account target means what is the chart of account structure of your corporate ledger so all of the subsidiaries either one or two or 100 subsidiaries will transfer the balances to this target chart of accounts what is the source this in case of you have three four five six seven subsidiaries so you have to define seven mapping of chart of account for each subsidiaries you have to define your chart of account mapping again if you have 10 subsidiaries and one corporate so you have to make a mapping between 10 subsidiaries to this corporate so in this case you have to make 10 chart of account mapping each subsidiaries with corporate subsidiaries with corporate blah 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 and the, the target for all of these 10 chart of account mapping will be target chart of account of your corporate or main or parent ledger the source the chart of account of your subsidiary this is will be like list of value just open and select first of all the segment rule segment rules system will give you the target segment of your chart of account and the source segment here but before of source segment it will ask you the target information for example this is our target segment of our target chart of account of our corporate ledger as you see here company uh, line of business account future so the system in here in mapping ask you in which method you are going to mapping between the segment in this chart of account to the segments in this chart of account for example i tell them company for our corporate what is the mapping uh, method are you going to use roll up rules roll up rules we will use it in account are you assign a single value are you a copy value from source not assigned from company i just assign single value that this value what does it mean that every value of segment of the company of the this source chart of account transferred to our corporate ledger will be transferred to this value so whatever the value of this of the company here 
1101, 1102, whatever, it will all of them come or show in our corporate ledger after transfer balance successfully in 5201. What about line of business? I told them use roll up rules. Once I select use roll up rules, it gave me which source segment. This is our segment of our source or subsidiary ledger. So I told them whatever the line of business here will be mapped to the line of business or the program here. Once you select roll up group and select the segment here and here, the system will ask you give me the values. What does it mean that I, I maybe I have for example for line of business of corporate chart of account and the same either program or line of business of subsidiary I have segments and I have value so maybe I have 1101 102 103 blah 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 104 one, two, uh, the same I have a value of our segments in line of business or program of the subsidiary ledger like I have 5000 6000 7000 and so on for the rule, rule up rules I select these that one segment from our target to one segment as a name of our source and down I will mapping the values these values in this target segment and these values in this source segment so like the, if this example I will tell him that whatever 101 is mapped to 5,000, 6,000. 102 mapped to 4,000, 7,000. Again, what does it mean? If any journal or transactions during make transfer balances from subsidiary to corporate ledger, if any transaction related to this account, it will transfer to our corporate in 101. And again, if I mapped 4,000 and 7,000 to 104, so all of the transactions of line of business in our subsidiary ledger will be during make a transfer to ba transfer balances to our corporate ledger it will be transferred or changed from 4000 and 7000 to 104 and so on this is what is what is the meaning of roll up use roll up rules you will select uh, to our segments and down you have a lot of options easy either one to one or one to many as you see here one two between as a range or one equal one and again for the account I did the same account here as a segment name equal account here as a segment name and use roll up rules which your roll up rules 1000 in our target equal this range so any transaction between or starting from this account to this account in our subsidiary ledgers once you transfer it to carbo corporate ledger it will be changed or yes change it to 1000 and again 1000 to 1 equal to this one what else we have we have between we have also is le last descended of I don't know what it is so either between or equal to so equal to it will be here you have to put equal to yani for example here I will change it to between let me bring let me cancel and again count I will make it here and this
as you see here that equal to only one value here equal to one value here equal to one value in case of you need to select a range again between like whatever we did in line of business else for the future I will I will not use user up rules I will not assign uh, copy values from source not assigned I will assign single values like company is this whatever come from here for the futures it will default is zeros here there is nothing is coming because we didn't assign any segments so for the future segment name or our target segment for all of the transactions keep it zeros in case of you make the vice versa for example this is our corporate and this is our subsidiary so the subsidiary by the end will transfer the balances from here to there right the same you don't need to create another two segments because once you create chart of account and you started the transactions you cannot update the chart of accounts so in this case what you have to do you have to assign product and the entire company as a say assign single value and they put it zeros or whatever so in this case because this our two segments is not there so no need to make a mapping because there is no any other mapping you just need to assign a single value or whatever so this is the chart of account mapping if i need to create a new one again what is the name what is the description what is the target what is the source and go to segment rule once you assign your target and the source system will show you the target segment of your chart of account target and depends on the mapping method you selected here it will show you the source chart of account segments another case now I make here a mapping right line of business use roll up rules whatever in you use roll up rules only in case of tomorrow I defined a new line of business in subsidiary in subsidiary so I have to come here to make a mapping so every time I adding or removing value set I need to come here to make update whatever use up rules use roll up rules you have to every time adding or deleting or inactivating to come to check is this uh, account is assigned before I now I am activated so I have to come here to uh, inactivate if is there any values added the new yes I need to come here for only use roll up rules to adding inactivating or whatever and also if I by mistake or whatever I may think to make or involved here some accounts or line of business of our subsidiaries and I didn't make mapping between these values to any values in the target once I make a transfer I will show it also later once I make transfer transfer will be failed because what because the system found some values in some transactions in the subsidiaries during transfer balances is not mapping to any target value in your corporate ledger so every time you have to maintain adding and activating whatever and make your roll-up rules either equal to only one values or range just save and close so now the one the definition of the ledger or chart of account I think all of us know the definition of the ledger and if you go are going to make a consolidations so you have around four or three or two ledgers in your instance after that you make a mapping after that if that currency is different you can make a translate if not you can start to make transfer balances but before before to make a transfer balances you have to check to finalize all of mapping of your chart of accounts 
to ensure that the period which you are going to make a transfer is first is posted in your subsidiaries for example now I am going to transfer the balances of January 2024 so I need to confirm or to ensure that all of the transactions which is related to this period is transferred to GL and posted and the same period in the corporate ledger must be opened because during a make a transfer the system will check is this period in opened in corporate or not and again chart of account mapping now I'm going to run transfer balances monitor process schedule a new process there is one transfer balances you will find a lot of a lot of transfer as you see here transfer ledger balances just drag this transfer balances from one ledger to another okay okay some parameters like period what is the source target source ledger sorry what is the target what is the chart of account mapping what is the amount type is this period to date here to date this is period to date what is the source ledger period I told you January 2024 are you going to transfer the balances of this period to the same period in the corporate or the target or not the same so I have to ensure that the same is opened are you going to run journal import yes are you going to create summary uh, journals are you going to run uh, automatic posting yes or no this is up to you but because if it's required then submit okay make refresh and still waiting the status either succeeded or error it's a give error no problem just click on it check the log just click more there is one log file download go down 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 here error code source account description what is the error as you see here this code combination from source account there is no mapping no 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 so it does it mean that all of these values of this account is not mapped to any values in the corporate so during make the transfer the mapping or the transfer will not be successful until you complete the mapping mapping between what between all of these accounts to your account so what i will do I will not take it one by one but in actual cases you have to take one by one to your financial team to tell them this account in source uh, calendar or sorry the source uh, subsidiaries in which account I need to map this account this account blah 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 and so on so what I will do I will make as a range for example this one I will come back to mapping Chart of account mapping. Again, come to our segments account. Come down to add one values. What is the target? I have, for example, this. I will put it between all of twos. For example, from values. one two three four five one two three four five two two one two three four five and for our second one four so i will select four condition between f 
फोर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव फ्रॉम जी लाइक फ्रॉम जीरोज टू नाइन 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 और जी 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 वॉट एवर टू थ्री फोर फाइव वॉट एल्स फाइव एंड ऑल्सो वन सो आई वेल सिलेक्ट फाइव कंडीशन बिटवीन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वॉट एल्स आई थिंक वन टू सेवन एंड देर इज वन ऑल्सो सो सेवन अगेन आई कैन कम टू मेक फाइव टू एंड दे मेक बिटवीन फ्रॉम सेवन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वॉट एल्स आई थिंक वन सो आई कैन सेलेक्ट एस इ टू बिटवीन बट टेक केयर ऑफ ओवर लैप बिकॉज वी हैव हीर वन राइट सो आई कैन कम टू वन ऑफ दिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल मे बी आई कैन मेक फ्रॉम वन जीरो टू वन वन थ्री फाइव जीरो टू and after that i can start a new one from 113504 in some cases you have not a sequence or not a uh, sequence or a series of accounts so you can make whatever you want this account to this account this account to this range but by the end take care of the overlap because the overlap the system will not give you access or it will not allow you to mix save and close because there is overlap in your roll up rules so what i will do i can come to this and delete come to this and make it between this one sorry any one again 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 One, one, two, three, four, five. Try to save. There is overlapping. Okay. So I will overlapping what four, right? So you have to come here, delete. What else? So I have now. Also, this one must be delete. Two, halas. These four also must be deleted because here I have full range. Either exclude this range from this, or keep full range. So I will delete. So now I have one, seven, five, four, two. Because here there is no any values related to three as a owner record. Save. Try to save again. Again, overlapping. You can overlapping to detail count. Overlapping uh, source where and where that it include in the hierarchy previously. Type one, one, seven, five, four, two. Where is five five four so here I, I just found like one of them is around six nine instead of five so again one one two two four four five zero two this five range five two to seven range and now i think we cover all of our missing but in the actual again you have to take one by one to to make your mapping try to save saved save and closed you can again done you can come to monitor and process 
Let's get a new process. Transfer ledger balances. Go to Darwin, transfer ledger. Select your source. What is your target? What is your mapping? What is it? again if you have a lot of subsidiaries you have to run 10 sub 10 processes for 10 subsidiaries because for each one you have a different chart of account mapping what is the source the same period same okay allow allow submit again you have to check the status if there any missing if there any whatever because the journal import so I think it's resolved inshallah completed post just make refresh now it succeeded just I will go to our corporate ledger our general accounting journals select your corporate go to manage journals select the period January search you will find balance transfer balance transfer this is today is 18 uh, sorry 19 and there is one balances transferred from subsidiary ledger to corporate ledger once you open it you can come down and check the mapping I think whatever is there come to five come to five two and so as you see here our company all of it the same this our line of business one zero one one zero two this is the account and this is the future we said that future during make mapping is all of them zeros and as you see all of them zeros one zero one one zero two because we mapped some of a line of business to 1001 some of them to 1002 and the account 101423551052 whatever is debit whatever is credit if there any rate or conversion whatever debit accounted and the total and unreconciled and journal import credit this is from subsidiary to corporate if you have another subsidiary like uh, xyz it will see xyz this is very to, to not very to date and this is a balance transfer so again i think it's not recommended to make a posting because you have to give the chance for financial team to make uh, a revision before make a posting to check at least some of these accounts the mapping is correct or not before make a posting if you make a posting by wrong by mistakenly what you have to do reverse this journal or patch and the posted and again make your adjustment in your chart of account mapping and rerun again the transfer balances for example i mapped the wrong account wrong line of business and it's already came here so what I have to do if it's busted I have to reverse after reverse busted again if it's still so you have to make delete but delete depends on what depends on the source you have to go to journal source and the unfreeze the update there is one checkbox for freeze journals whatever you have to uncheck this checkbox to come here and to delete if it's busted خلاص. again reverse busted correct your mapping make rerun transfer again this is the balance transfer consolidation I will elimination process 
I really I don't have actual key because as you see that uh, I just create this uh, ledger with any random segments and make mapping to just show you quickly how to make a mapping, how to make consolidation, how to run transfer, how to check the output, how to check the error, how to resolve, blah blah blah, and how to check the journals. Just I need to come here. As you see, if I click on the debit, you will find what you will find as a drill down. So before I start into eliminations, that I need to tell you that drill down, drill down is possible from the target ledger balances to the source. As you see is now, I just click on the hyperlink, it gives me the source of the account. This is what, this is our eight segments of our subsidiary. Again, you can click on this and check the, so the source, blah, 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 like drill down. When the source and target ledger's currency is the same, you can uh, make a drill down on the entered amount from the journal lines page or the journal page in the target. When the source and the target doesn't share ledger currency, it's also necessary to translate the source ledger to the target currency before transferring balances. So the drill down is possible as you see here just i click down i need to see from where this value come here come here it will give you all of the lines so i need to check these lines and so on this is invoices AR, blah 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 so eliminations as a part of financial consolidations elimination entries are generated in consolidation ledgers once all the child ledgers have transferred their individual balances Elimination process is initiated to avoid counting of the internal transactions in the external reporting. Therefore, you typically eliminate, for example, intercompany receivable, intercompany payables for IC as intercompany transactions. Statement must be eliminated or performed from a consolidation perspective. There is one by uh, white paper for the allocations. I will share it with you. This paper or white paper of the allocations in page 70 and 72 there is one topic for how to make eliminations for example if I open it I think downloads allocation This white paper and allocations, I will share it with you. If you go to page 70, here transfer balances to elimination balance segment value for consolidations, or if you are going to make cross ledger intercompany allocations, either this or this. There is a full solution to using uh, allocation manager or calculation manager to make that eliminations for your ledger segments account blah 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 also i need to share with you as a sample example that eliminations we have a lot of level for example if i have two ledger set infusion north america and infusion ema ledger then in infusion ema we have two subsidiaries or two ledgers uk germany and in Fusion North America Elimination Ledger, we have USA and the Canada. In USA and the Canada, you may make a transfer or intercompany between USA and the Canada. Whatever USA is payable, uh, Canada is receivable, like this example, and here also between UK and the Germany. So this is the net between of these transactions between USA and the Canada, and this is the net between UK and the German. This is what this is level one of elimination. What about level two? Level two that one of these subsidiaries make intercompany with one of these subsidiaries. Yani this subsidiary under this ledger set, this subsidiary, this subsidiary under this ledger set, and there is one transaction between one of these to one of these. As you see here, between Germany and USA. Where is Germany? This USA and the German the other between UK and the Canada. This is what, this is level two of elimination entries. 
what is the final eliminations that all of these must be to eliminated in our corporate primary ledger as you see this is the final this is the brief of eliminations maybe in future if I have any example actual example I will share it with you but before of that you have to collect all of your intercompany or all of your eliminations entries either in ledger set or whatever because in your corporate ledger you have to make a final elimination like this one whatever is USA payable, Canada receivables, Germany payable, blah 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 so this is the end I now I hope now you got what if what is the meaning of consolidations what is that methods how to make it uh, I think for reporting consolidation you can do it alone if you have all of the subsidiaries sharing a cat chart of account calendar blah 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 it's easy to make a ledger set and dimension them or balance transfer or if you have a complex this is a complex like you have a lot of instance and you required to make a consolidation if you have any questions I'm there uh, again in, in the future if I have any special case for eliminations I will share it with you thanks for watching